howdy howdy it's another saturday haul and do i have a treat for you <laughs> well today is saturday august the 26th and i told my husband well i i guess i'm eating crow today because i did a walmart pickup which it took a while to get the stuff back you know to get it was an hour wait time for pickup but it's walmart <laughs> so debbie had to rationalize and realize walmart will be walmart and um i love Publix. shopping is a pleasure at Publix, but right now <laughs> the money I mean, light bill going up. All these bills are going up. So we got to cut corners where we can. And today I got a deal with Walmart. Um, they, I had some credit because they, they, they owed me from when we had some issues. So, but I didn't have to pay for uh, Instacart or the it's expensive to do instacart and i was playing for the paying for the luxury of it but i can walk i can get out we can go to pick up my groceries so let's turn this around and see what we have here this is all my groceries from walmart today and like before the it was a small amount that i got when I did the Instacart in Publix, which was 340 some dollars. This right here was $250. Yes, I had to go and get it. Yes, I had to, you know, the different things, but it saved us some money. And right now we're in a season where I need to save as much money as possible. So, to me, it was worth it, and I am eating crow because I haven't used Walmart since January. I was had a little issue with their delivery service. So, but when it comes to the prices, you can't beat their pricing, and there are things that you just can't get at Publix. So here we go. We're starting over here. We have some bread for the week. Some um. Some of the fancy bread that my guys like <laughs> and then we have the regular walmart bread um here we have some tyson grilled chicken packs i'm gonna make some stir a stir fry with chicken and <coughs> kielbasa sausage along with the vegetables you'll see in a minute but that's the chicken for it and here we have some um chicken apple sausage that's organic that's good it's all natural and then we have the bad stuff the uncle john's <laughs> any of you in florida you know that uncle john's i'm sorry uncle john's is made here in florida so it's very yummy and very good it takes me back to my childhood where my father my grandfather used to smoke sausage on the farm and it tastes just as good we have that we're gonna use in stir fry. Then we have a uh, roast beef, slow roasted natural Oscar Mayer for sandwiches. Then we have the cheese for sandwiches from Kraft. Over here we have some string cheese for snacking. Let's get this focus. String cheese. Here we have some chicken wings and I can see this is a lot smaller than it used to be when I get it at Walmart but I love these because they're good for a Saturday evening dinner put those on with some sweet potato fries or something like that and we can have that instead of going out to eat those are very good if you haven't tried them they are pecan smoked chicken wings and they are fully cooked you just put them in the air fryer back here we have some Snyder's pretzels and we have the great value pepperoni pizza snack rolls 
um, we usually get Tostinos from uh, Publix, but that's for snacking for the guys and lunches. Then we have the stir fry vegetables here that I'm going to use for meals, make the stir fry. Here we have some beef burgers. Some more um, season, some not season, some more vegetables back here to restock the freezer. Those are uh, mixed vegetables, great value brand. Move this back. Then we have our traditional yellow sausage, yellow rice that I make every week, just about every week for my hubby. He loves yellow rice. Restocking that. <clears throat> and then we have sazon if you don't have this in your stock of seasonings what are you doing this is some awesome seasoning that you can put in rice you can put in vegetables um in just about everything it's good on a baked potato um sazon you gotta get you some that's some good seasoning my son loves them on french fries they're very good then we have the regular Louisiana hot sauce that I love. And then we have this. I use this when I make my stir fry. We're going to put that in the stir fry. And then we have, this is new. I've never tried this. But it's another dipping sauce. And we love, we, I love dipping my celery sticks and broccoli sticks and all that stuff and things I know I know that takes away the healthy part but oh well I'm eating vegetables so <laughs> back here we have uh egg bites the veggie egg bites those are good spinach um egg white frittatas they are good really good for breakfast and some fig newtons bars those are for snacks some boiled eggs because we're going to make some tuna and some regular eggs for breakfast and whatever it's needed for then we have again this to me is the best ranch dressing and it's not it doesn't taste as pres preserved as uh the hidden valley you have to try this lighthouse family size home style ranch. It really tastes home style and it has less preservatives and it's it just tastes better. It tastes fresh like you made it home. Then we have some strawberries. We have apple slices for the for our fruit salad this week. And we have snacks for the guys, paper plates, water. I have two of these, one and then one in the pantry as well. So we have three cases of water available. Um, some bubbly sparkling water. And these were only like $3.50 a piece. <laughs> They're like six bucks at Publix. And then we have the lactate and the almond milk. That's for if anyone wants cereal. I do make a, a, a latte with some uh, chai tea that I have some mornings instead of drinking coffee. I've taken that on because I'm trying to get back from the coffee. But, you know, <laughs> we have some avocados because I can't go without my avocado toast some salad mix we have ketchup here um i could stock up on those because those were only like a dollar 94 duncan coffee creamer which has been a shortage on this time of the year for some reason duncan coffee creamer has a shortage but we were able to get two of those this week from walmart we have the chicken seasoning, uh, Chick-fil-A, of course, and then the tuna for the tuna salad. These are some extra coffee creamers that my husband takes to work because he has a Keurig in his office. And Duke's 
If you're not using Dukes, you ain't using real mayonnaise. I'm sorry. <laughs> this the real deal right here. Dukes is very good, and I use it in everything. And, of course, a watermelon, and that's my other um, water. But we have a watermelon here, and I cut that up on Sunday afternoon and make our fruit salad for the week. So, 150, um, 250 bucks worth of groceries here. Saved a good deal and didn't have to give a tip or a delivery fee. So, yes, I'm eating crow this weekend because I said I wouldn't go back to Walmart and I did go back to Walmart to save money. So we have our electric bill set up on a monthly payment. They just average it out for the year and once the year is up they can decide to increase it. So this is our third year of doing that and it has increased again. So <laughs> I, I had to cut budgeting and cut cut my budget somehow, and that's what I chose to do. Thank you for watching. Things are going well. We are doing well. Um, have a blessed week. We love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Thanks for watching.